We're here at Ren's home, and you're live for our Athlete of the Week. Today we have Team Mattel Captain Jason Cunliffe. Congratulations on being Dial's Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to donate this check to? Thank you very much. I'd like to donate the check to Habitat for Humanity. Big game for you. Three goals in the win against Bhutan. A must-win game for uh, Team Guam. But uh, overall, what do you think about the game and uh, how uh, the guys performed uh, against Bhutan? I think after uh, that first game in Bhutan and the loss, it was a good, good way for us to show up. Um, everyone really performed a lot better and stuck to the principles. Uh, big shout out to you know some of the young bucks: uh, Devin Mendiola, Isaiah Lagutang, uh, Marlon Evans, Kyle Halehale, even uh, Ethan Elwell. They really stepped up, pushed some of those older guys, and making sure that we're bringing it every day. Awaiting the draw now. What is uh, Matau doing in the meantime? Uh, you know we're right back into it. Training draw is uh, July 17th, so he yeah, has not a lot of time before now. In our first game, September 5th and September 10th, both matches will be here on Guam. Who are we uh, looking forward to facing if ideally we had a choice? Uh, who would you like to play? Uh, of course, everyone's looking at competing against the best out there. Um, in the top eight, I'd probably like to see either Australia or Japan. Any uh, matches lined up for Mattel in preparation for uh, the upcoming games? Hopefully we'll have a couple friendlies, uh, maybe Philippines, Hong Kong, or Taiwan. But I think it'll depend uh, who we draw exactly come the 17th. Before we go, we just want to say uh, happy birthday. That's going to do it for here at Die Red Zone. Stay tuned to our next Athlete of the Week. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Zachary Zacharias and Brian Suji make up Team Guam for beach volleyball. This is the first time the two players will be putting on the Guam jersey for Pacific Games competition. We feel pretty good about it. We've been playing, Zach and I have been playing for a few years um, since we got out of high school. And... It's our first time together representing Guam, so we're pretty excited. At the last Pacific Games held in Papua New Guinea, 16 countries participated in the 2015 Games. Suji says the team isn't too worried about the other countries, but more focused on their own style of play. We're definitely trying to get the gold. A lot of my friends back, back in America, my college friends are cheering me on too, so um, I'm representing them as well. Trying to get the gold, yeah. Adapting to the conditions of the sand and changing up their playing style will be key for Team Guam. The duo have been playing alongside each other for two years, so chemistry will be on their side. After years of playing summer volleyball during school break, they decided to give the national team a shot. We're very proud. We're very honored. Um, we're very glad we were chosen as the men's beach volleyball team. So uh, coming out here since February, um, myself personally, uh, training out here with Mr. Brian Mantanani. Going as Guam, uh, we're very excited. Uh, we're young. Uh, it's our first time and we just want to do Guam.